Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Force here, covering new PC releases for the week of May the 27th to June the 2nd. It is a very slow week with only a handful of titles coming out, but we'll cover the ones that are available nonetheless. Uh, starting on Tuesday, May the 28th, Grid 2 came out. Uh, this was the most recent title from the famed racing game developer Codemaster. It runs on the Ego 3.0 engine, which is the same as their last racing game, Dirt 3, and it also features the True Feel handling system that attempts to provide a balance between arcade and realistic racing games. Now, unfortunately, I ran into some technical issues with the game that still haven't been resolved. I'm trying to fix those, and if I can, I would love to provide you guys some coverage because what I've played of Grid 2 so far is really good. I'm really liking the racing game. It's got a gorgeous look, uh, it handles wonderfully, and it's just a lot of fun. Uh, there's a bunch of drama around all this day one DLC for the game, which I certainly understand. The DLC provides cars and tracks and and money for the in-game in-game in store like a discount where you can buy uh, car parts and stuff like that but that stuff aside the game itself is really fun really solid so hopefully i get those problems resolved so i can give you some coverage if not though the reviews have been pretty good i'm sure you can find coverage elsewhere if you like racing games you may want to check out grid 2 that's available for 49.99 also on Tuesday, we saw the release of The Night of the Rabbit. This is a puzzle adventure game where you play as a child who follows a rabbit to an enchanted realm filled with magic. Uh, reminiscent of a story that you've probably heard before, I'm sure, but um, it seems in interesting nonetheless. This is a point-and-click adventure game that's priced at $19.99. I'll probably give you guys some coverage. I'm not sure how many of my viewers will be interested in this type of game, but I'd like to just give it a look nonetheless and give you guys some initial impressions on the uh, early part of the story and stuff like that, so I should be covering that game as well. Moving on to Wednesday, May the 29th, which is today. We are seeing the release of War Game Ireland Battle. Battle. It's the sequel to war game European Escalation. It's a real-time tactics game set in Northern Europe that focuses on the land war between the Warsaw Pact and NATO forces. Uh, I'm not like a war buff or anything, but this definitely seems like a game tailor for those kind of people. It's also a strategy game, and uh, I'm going to be checking that out this afternoon. If everything goes well, I feel like I have to put that caveat out there because for the past two weeks, there's been some launch issues with a few of the games that I've been trying to take a look at. I had those problems with Grid 2. Uh, last week I had problems with Van Helsing, and hopefully War Game launches fine for me. I've seen some commotion in the Steam forums where people can't get the game to launch, so I'll see if that's the case for me as well. If not, though, you should expect some coverage of War Game Ireland Battle, which is now available for $39.99. And moving on to the final release of this week, tomorrow, Thursday, May the 30th, we are seeing the Swapper come out. This is a 2D indie platformer set in space where you play as an astronaut who can make replicas of himself and then you use that functionality to try to solve various puzzles and make your way through the game. Now, I don't have a price for this game yet. Uh, just judging the type of game it is, I expect it to be below $30, probably closer to the $10 to $20 range, although that could be wrong. That's what I'm assuming based on uh, the type of game that this looks like. Looks pretty neat, looks interesting. I'm excited to give that a look and you can expect coverage of that game tomorrow. And that is it for new releases. So let's go ahead and talk about my planned content for the week. So we're getting pretty late into the week right now. It's already Wednesday, and for that reason, I'm not positive if we're going to do a game of the week. My initial plan was to make Grid 2 the game of the week because I was excited to jump into it. But once again, due to my technical issues, was un unable to record any footage of that game. Uh, so I'm not sure what we're going to do. It's possible that I could look at another one of these titles and feature that as the game of the week. But we might end up not having a featured game this week, and we might just have to wait till next week. At which point, I believe Remember Me is coming out and that's the game that I would like to feature so we'll see if I decide to do anything it will be coming out today because Wednesday is the latest I'd like to start this process and otherwise we might just skip this week and, and hold off till next week uh, but for the games that are coming out that I plan to cover once again a war game will be covered Night of the Rabbit and the Swapper um, I'm also thinking about taking a look at Grim Dawn I tried some of the uh, the beta that I currently have access to or is it alpha I'm not sure it's one or the other but basically the the early testing phase of Grim Dawn uh, there's this annoying feature that's getting fixed where you basically have to double click every spell to use it. Uh, so for example, if you're pointing your character in a direction like in a normal action RPG and you hit uh, the one hotkey to cast a spell, you've got to then click on the target. It's it's sort of weird. I guess it's like it's it's an artifact that's been pulled in from uh, 
from a prior game that the engine ran on. But anyways, the point is that is supposed to be getting patched. It's supposed to be getting fixed to be more fluid. And once that happens, I'll probably take a look at Grim Dawn. Not sure if that'll occur this week, though. So I'm not sure if that coverage will happen this week. And I'd also like to take a look at Dawngate, which is that new MOBA game coming out from EA, uh, just because I want to see what it's all about. So that is the planned content for the week. And that's going to do it here for the coverage of new PC releases. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like the content, please subscribe. And as always, keep watching and keep owning. I'd like to take a bit of credit for that win. Team effort, right?